What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another Ultimate Team Draft Challenge. Yesterday we attempted a 127 and I asked you guys for some more options in the draft for some challenges, some fun challenges, and I really liked one of them. And feel free today as well guys to just put even more down below. But the challenge that I really liked the idea of was a Max Chem Rainbow Foot Draft Challenge. Now of course, as we all know, with an unbelievable amount of promos and icons and such. Rainbow Draft now isn't really that challenging. So when I first read it, I was like, oh, Rainbow Draft. We've done Rainbow Draft so many times. However, the caveat to the draft was that there cannot be any duplicate card types in the starting 11 or subs. The reserves can have some, which gives us five options of a bit of leeway. Different icons and different hero card types do count because they are indeed different card types. But we need a starting 11 and seven subs to all be different card types and to get maximum chemistry and to try and build the highest rated draft with it that we can. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go with base icon Ronaldinho. He doesn't fit, none of these players fit into the team literally at all, which is hilariously awful for EA. But we're going to take this Ronaldinho. He's going to go onto the bench. It is base icon taken care of. The reason why I went for him is because he's still very high rated. In at striker. Who's really rare here? I mean, Milito and Crespo. Foot birthday, uh, foot birthday icons do come quite a lot. We've obviously got to be wary of chemistry as well. And so I think because of that, we're going to go for Nkunku. He can sit in that center forward role. French Premier League, very easy to link. And winter wild cards are not overly common. We will. This is the first time I think I've seen this uh, Golasso icon push cast. Now the Golasso icons are very common. Oh, they are very common. Let's do the first one, trying to crack like a really high rated draft with it, just to set the baseline of where we are, what we're getting, and and such. Now we've got some more really good icon. It's good for chemistry. We could take Thunderstruck Hullet, uh, sorry, Cantona. We could take Centurion's Hullet, or we can take Team of the Year Zola. Now, there's quite a lot of Team of the Year icons that do pop. There's actually quite a lot of Thunderstruck icons that pop, but I'm still going to take that Eric Cantona because also he gives the French link to Nkungu. Well, very easy options here. We'll go over Common Gold uh, Spanish player. Okay. We will go over Centurion Spanish player. 89 Pedri goes in there. That's very, very nice. And our final centre mid. See, this is where we've got a little bit of a problem now. If I do take skulls to give myself a different option of a, of a player, one of those Thunderstrucks is going to have to go on the bench. Sorry, on the reserves. So if instead we take... Kevin De Bruyne probably makes the most sense. Really? We're going to take Feli Valverde. We've now got both versions of Golds. And Kunku's doing all right. This is where I almost don't want to get Thunderstruck card. Okay, that as well. Cancelo is brilliant. He could go left back or right back. And it's the uh, record breaker Joao Cancelo who is amazing for chemistry and amazing for card types. In at centre back, we will take Thunderstruck Rafael Varan. Also good for Kem and, and leaves us very easily able to get the final Kem points on Nkunku and Varan. This is a bit annoying because obviously one of those gold cards is going to have to go onto the reserves. Ooh. It's the, uh, what was this card type? The Ultimate Dynasties Hernandez. It's very good for the chemistry. We've already got a Thunderstruck. We've already got a, oh, I didn't take the foot birthday icon. And so that actually, I, I, for some reason, I thought I had taken the foot birthday icon. I had not. So that's fine. And there is our team of the year icon. Boom. This is a really good team to start with. We only have one duplicate card type so far. We've got full chemistry already. And we've got all five. Well, we've got four spots on the, the reserve. So if we take Jonathan Klaus, we don't have an inform yet. Ooh, or do we take, what's this? Road to the knockouts. Let's put Jonathan Klaus in there. Next up. Already have Centurions. Can't do tomorrow. I do need to be mindful of getting a different centre-back or centre-mid. Um, I 
gonna take John Arnoriza there. Sergio Ramos ice card is banging. That's uh, it's not ideal. It's it's a good card, but it's not ideal for what we want on the team, really. We've got the Dynasty's icon Sebastian Juan Sebastian Veron. He can actually go in there over Mascarell there. Four different icon types. It's quite fun. Ooh, wow. Do we take 97 Cruyff to put him in over 96 Pushkas? We've got a nice card. We've got a, a record breakers card. We've got an inform. We do not have this level of hero. I'm going to take Cruyff, guys. I'm going to take Cruyff. That's now two players that we're going to have to put into the reserves. That's now three players that we're going to have to put into the reserves. Okay, we don't have many options here. Okay, that's good. Sobble Sly goes in. One of the golds comes off. Come on, give me another card type, EA. Yeah. No new card type here. That's too bad. Come on, I need a, I need a different card type here. No new card type there. That's too bad. I really need a different card type now. Okay, brilliant. We have finally got ourselves a new card type. It's Politano. He goes in. He goes in over Mike Mignan. So the only single, unless I've got this wrong somewhere, the only single duplicate card type we have got is Pushkas and Cruyff. Everything else is entirely different. Can we exchange Pushkas out? Yes, we can. Diani has saved us there, which means we have got an official, what is that, 1-2-2, two, two, which I don't actually think is a bad way to start things off. It's interesting to try and build with 18 different card types. Of course, having multiple versions of icons and heroes makes it a lot easier. But 1-2-2 two, two is the baseline. Let's get into attempt number two. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. All right, guys, here we go with attempt number two. Let's try the 4-3-3. And we'll start with... Ooh, we don't actually see this card type much. We'll start with that David Giller in at left wing. I'm more than happy to actually take a common gold card, to be fair. Uh, we don't actually get too, too many. And we'll take Chloe Kelly as well. Nice and high rated. Um, the fantasy fuck card type design in there. And uh, should be reasonably easy enough to link. And we will take the foot birthday icon. There's also the foot birthday card, which we didn't get last time, did we? We'll take uh, take Frieda Manum. A rare gold covered, but it gives the women's league link to Kelly there. Oh, now there's a card type we didn't see last draft. Damn it. And that is the Nike Ready who tell us. We've got Foot Birthday Rinders. We've got Centurions De Bruyne, which would be very good for chemistry. It's a shame to turn down that 96 Zidane but it makes the most sense just because of the way this team is shaping up. Can't take Centurions now. Informs a bit meh. Wagner and Jose Guy are not what I want. For a donk, not what I want. We're going to take Inform Rom. Reasonably easy to link. That's nice. Winter Wildcard Icon Yashin. And that's also very nice. The, uh, the fantasy hero Lucio is very good for chemistry and very good for Rom's chemistry. We're only uh, a very easy link away from getting him on full chem now. Well, that's beautiful. I actually thought I'd made a mistake there. The foot birthday and the future stars icon card types are quite similar, aren't they? And then in goal. Give me that team of the year check again. No. Uh, will I take Donnarumma? I will take Donnarumma. I got an inform already. I have got an inform already. I will not take Donnarumma. I will take Alvero. So we have now got 11 card types already in here. We're not quite great on the chemistry, but not too far away. Reasonably easy to, uh, to adapt. 
We obviously need seven more card types here. And uh, do you know what? We'll take an actual team of the year. And we'll pop uh, Allison in there, which is great for the chem. Gives De Bruyne a full chem. Which is nice. <sighs> Got another team of the year there. But obviously, we can't take. We're going to have to take the... What is it? Road to the Knockouts Europa League card. Not bad for that rating, I suppose. We've got Thunderstruck Cafu. Man. He's a pain because he's obviously very good, but he doesn't actually get into the team. But we can't not take him because we need the card, the card design. Uh, we'll take James there. That's one player already that we've got to get onto the reserves. That's now two players that we've got to get onto the reserves. Okay, okay. We've got Foot Birthday Mudrick and then Ginola at Striker. That's a great option, to be fair. Or does, even if Mudrick had Striker himself. We lose two chem like that. We gain two chem like that. We are a, oh, we're a fair, fair bit of chemistry away, actually. I can't lie. Can't lie. We've still got to get two players... Yes, Cody Gakpo. That is actually massive. I think we gain chemistry. Oh, no, we don't. But I think we will inevitably gain chemistry with Cody Gakpo in there. That fire card could be a massive savior. Okay, if I take Pushkas, Thunderstruck, Afu onto the bench, I would still need to get rid of two players off the bench. I could take Kim Min Jae and just not play him, but I actually think Pushkas in a striker there is going to... Uh, Offer way better options overall. Four picks to go. Wow. All right, we've got Rudiger. He only has DM, so we can't take him other than just for a different card type. Olga Carmona. We can take. We can start. Not get chemistry. It'll be the same as uh, same chemistry as Ram. But does offer us another opportunity. Let's get one of those off to uh, get a manager that works. All right, three picks to go. Okay. So Ansu Fati does have striker and will give us extra chemistry. And we don't have that card type. We actually have... This, this is the... Um, Euro oh, it is the same. Europa League and Sildilia. No! Ah. And it didn't even give me the extra chemistry. God damn. Well, that is my bad. Gold cards we can't use. Base icon. Ooh, hold on. Base icon we can use. Joe Cole can't take. Have we got a Thunderstruck icon? Yeah, Pushkas. If I take Pushkas, oh, sorry, Skulls, I can't get that up. I take Ribery and play him at left wing. Base icon we do not have. It's either going to be Ribery and at left wing, which will give us guaranteed chemistry there, but maybe not on Olga Carmona, or Maldini over Lucio. I can't, I can't remember. Oh, wait, Maldini can go left back, can't he? Let's take Maldini. Got base icon Maldini at left back. That leaves us with, I believe, we've been saved with the card types. Don't think. You have to keep me in check sometimes, guys, because sometimes even when you're staring at it straight in the screen, you, like, you know, sometimes it's really hard to, uh, to understand if you've got any dupes. I don't think I've got any duplicate card types on the subs or the starting lineup. But this to be, this is already a 1-2-2, two, two, which is exactly what we've had already. I'll tell you what we should do, though. We should put uh, Ansu Fati instead of Sildilia because he's high rated. So this is a 1-2-2 two, two, no matter what. If we can get the right chemistry for Frieda Manon, which we can, it's going to be a 1-2-4. Sorry, it was a 1-2-3 already. It's a 1-2-4. That is not bad, to be fair. That is not bad. Let's get into the third and final attempt. All right, guys. Here we go for attempt three. So a 1-2-4 to beat. That's that's not going to be easy. Let's take the 4-3-1-2. I do like this formation. Offers a lot for us as well. Uh, we'll start with 
we do see a lot of Thunderstruck. So we'll start with that Rick M. We don't see many base, oh, sorry, even uh, not base icons. What are these? These are the, uh, the UEFA uh, heroes. Sorry, I said icons as well. Um, ooh, Berbatov. Do you know what? That might be one of the first Golasso cards that we've seen just in general. He's super high rated as well. Offers and gets great chemistry. We'll also take Golasso Icon Van Persie. Maybe a little bit dangerous because there are a lot of Golasso icons, but there's also just a lot of icons in general, so I'm not overly bothered. And we're also going to take the Ultimate Birthday 94 rated Abili. This is going too smoothly right now. See, there's another Golasso icon. So now we've got the choice of either taking a common or an 88 Bernardo Silva. I'm actually tempted to go for Fanti Just be like, Bernardo Silva makes the most sense for chemistry. Decently rated as well. Let's take B Silver. I know he's got a high rated card, but let's take him anyway. Oh. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take Perlo. We, either way, whatever we take here is going to be a duplicate. The reason why we take Perlo is because that now gives us two icon options for a chemistry link. One of them will have to go onto the reserves, but one of them will be more useful than the other for chemistry. Lucy Bronze can certainly come in here. It's a UWCL road to the final, which is, of course, very nice. If we can get on a battle team of the season, that would be very, very nice. We can't use Collar. We can use Hummels. Really good with Ricken. He's 88 rated. It's team of the group stage Hummels as well. Other than Collar, Hummels is the highest rated, which is amazing. That chemistry is just already there. We're only the one ultimate birthday icon duplicate so far. We will certainly take future stars, Carlos Pollo. And in at left back. Yep. We'll go with Centurions, Ashley Cole. The icons kind of feel like they make this a little bit too easy because there's, what, about 10 different icon types, which is quite mad. Uh, we'll go for a common David Raya in goal with 33 chemistry, 91 rated. So a 1, 2, 4 guaranteed already, which is the same as what we got last draft. We only have one duplicate card in the starting eleven. Oh, that is... I'm going to take Van der Sar as well. Sa same reasons, right? Like, we're going to have to put two two icons onto the reserves, but if it transpires that we could put Van der Sar in goal and two different centre mids in, uh, then happy days, right? Like, that would be way, way better. Oh, winter wildcard, Lev Yashin. Don't mind that. I might take... Uh... Uh, we'll, we'll take we'll take Yashin anyway, just for the uh, just for the rating, which is nice. Next player, Vicente Lisarasu is very good. He's also an upgrade on the team. We do lose one chemistry uh, on Lucy Bronze at right back. We will most certainly take the uh, the Angolo Kante. That is one of these icon cards gone. Of course, I need to put them on the reserves, which still might not necessarily be easy. Ooh, Itana Bon Matty will be amazing for chemistry. It's also amazing for rating. Saves us, like, a goal. Like, what I might do is put Bernardo Silva in and Van der Sar in. Like, that might just be better overall. I think even if I take Team of the Season Messi, I don't know if I can start him. I don't think there's enough icons or enough chemistry there for him. We'll get him to two, but we'd need an Argentine manager. There's no point taking Ronaldo. He doesn't link. Rivaldo could be a good option. 89 rated as a different icon type. I'm going to take Messi. As expected. We don't quite get the chemistry, but it is just an Argentine player or manager away. And it is another card type, which is very good. This is a really good draft. Do I have a common yet? I do. It's David Ryer in goal. So we've got to get rid of one common, two ultimate birthday icons. That's it. Three options we need, please, EA. Polo we can't take. Politano we can. Spinner Zola we can take. The Fire and Ice cards. Have we got an Inform yet? We haven't got an Inform yet. I don't mind taking uh, taking Erling Haaland Inform. That gets rid of the... I mean, let's 
swap them out for the common because it'd be great for the rating anyway. Four picks to go. Oh, I should have taken Politano, shouldn't I? I would have had the space for the informs are so much more popular here. All right, we are not going to be able to do this. Oh, hold on. We might be able to do this. Diani, we can take. She will go on to the reserves. Over a Billy. Also, Ansu Fati Thunderstruck, we could take. But I'm going to take Diani. And it all comes down to this, whether or not this is an official draft or not. It all comes down to this. We need a card type to take a Billy off the bench. Can we get one? No, we cannot. It wasn't actually as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Don't get an Argentine or MLS manager either. Uh, but one, two, four was the maximum that we got. This also would have been a one, two, four as well if we did manage to get that last chem point. I'm really, really pleased with that. And I really, I actually really enjoyed that. So if you guys enjoyed this with the Rainbow Draft, let me know because I will happily do more of this. Thank you guys as always for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.